Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Shalonda and this is Saving with Shalonda. Hello to all my returning subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you guys for being here. Happy Saturday. I'm coming on tonight to show you um, what's going to be new in my Etsy shop. So I thought I'd actually come on and make it for you while I'm here, okay? So I have created <clears throat> a carnival experience package of challenges. So I'm going to kind of like show you the challenges, guys. And we're going to make them up and put them in a binder. And then we might actually play them. But we'll see. We have enough time, okay? So this is how they're looking. So this would be the... The main page here or the cover it's a car carnival fun fair we have a game here called balloon pop so that's one we have a uh, a ball toss game and then the clown and around game <clears throat> uh, we have a suit go around like a merry-go-round type of game this is just a duplicate of the clown up game down here so you won't be getting that one then we're going to have a Fair Wheels Fun Game. What's the T? Let's get it popping. Um, clowning around. Not clowning around, but that's the uh, game board. Hot Dog Diggity Dog. And this is the Cotton Candy Dreams. So we're just going to laminate these guys and we're going to set a binder up, guys, okay? So most of these are, um, for this package, it's going to be. A cover page plus 10 challenges, guys. So 10 games that you'll be able to play. And like I said, they all deal with um, things from going um, to the carnival. Like we got some food here, like with the hot dog here, guys, and the cotton candy. We got the actual carnival type games that you can play, you know, buy tickets to or go to the stand and try to win prizes. We got the popcorn. We Like I said, we got a game board. It's like a little maze here. Like I said, I'm gonna just make the um, item now, and then we're gonna we're gonna set it up, guys. But I'm excited about it. It came out really, really cute. Like I said, my ideas be brewing, guys. They really do. Okay. But like I said, once I started working on, it, I I couldn't stop. I said I gotta finish this, guys. Okay. And so, so I've been working on that. Like I said, this is not uh, the mystery kit. So if you think this is good, just wait till you see the mystery kit, guys. <laughs> So I'm really excited. Like I said, I got inspired because I was thinking about um, making games that would be fun for also for kids to play. Uh, I, I usually receive quite a few um, reviews from my Etsy and some of them really stood out to me. Um, and one was from one of my subscribers. Her name is Cece and she had a picture of her and her son playing uh, the Wheel of Fortune game. So they have a, a, a Sunday... Uh, uh, what is this? Sunday with Shalonda or Shalonda Sunday or something. And so they play the games or the challenges that she made and that kind of really, you know, did something to my heart, child. Did something to my heart, okay? Pulled on my heartstrings, y'all. And like I said, there's several other people that have done that. And um, my other, another subscriber and a friend, my new auntie, um, is Valerie Moore. If she's listening, she watches my videos sometimes, but like I said, we been become really good friends through Etsy and everything like that. She gives me ideas and she tells me of her, uh, playing these games for her, with her grandson. Also, we have a new subscriber, uh, Laura, I forgot her last name, but she did order some products from me recently. And she was in the comments on one of my videos saying that, you know, she's going to play with her, um, son four-year-old son i believe you know so like i said you know you know you want to start the kids early get them started guys with budgeting train them up train up a child y'all so i'm glad that i'll be able to do that and like i said i wanted to focus this set of games um to spend time with your kids and things like that like these are just fun games like i just when i think about carnival i think about fun automatically I haven't um, went to a carnival yet this year, but I mean, it still can be done, but you know, they don't offer carnivals all year long. So these games are something that you can do <clears throat> all year long. Carnival games you can actually play all year long. So the carnival's always in season, guys, you know. <laughs> so that's why I wanted to really come up with something. Like I said, I think that everybody would like and it would be cute. And, you know, so like I said, I was really inspired by that. So that's what happened today, guys. And so that's what we're doing. So we're setting this all up. 
And this is the, um, like I said, 10 challenges um, with a cover page for the binder. So like I said, I won't be doing an actual binder, but I'm just gonna be selling the inserts, the dashboards and the games. But I'm gonna make me a binder. And like I said, these games here, a lot of them, they don't have any like amounts, but these are games like mini games. Like everything is gonna be under $100 or you play it when you want to. Like me personally, I'm gonna clean my folders out at the end of the month when I get done. You can maybe sell like a $50 to $100 limit for these games, you know? And then clean your folders out, guys. Like I said, it's just like something fun. They're all cohesive challenges. They all go together. So it's like kind of like, what are you doing today? I'm playing carnival games, you know. <laughs> They're all different and things like that. But like I said, I'm trying, I wanted to create an experience for you guys through challenges. So this is going to, you're going to act like you feel like you're going to the carnival slash fair when you play these games, guys. So if you don't have a lot of money to like afford the fair and things like that, you need to save it for the next fair or something like that. This is how you do it, guys. You can use these challenges right here to save up for your fair that's going to be coming up. But it'd be a whole book of challenges, guys. You can save all year round, depending on how much you need to save, guys, for the fair. I think I saw Chris from um, Budgeting just because she was doing that. And she went to a fair today with the money she had saved up from doing challenges for a fair specifically, you know? Well, yeah, guys, so that's what, where, where I'm at, guys. But this is my new item that I'm going to be launching. Um, this video is going to come out after my launch, but I want the show to be behind the scenes process, process of this right here, guys. So, like I said, we'll just make it live. So, two videos, kill a little, two birds and one stone like that, guys. Like I said, you like the behind the scenes. So, here we are behind the scenes, guys. <clears throat> getting it done but this is gonna be so fun guys when i was creating these games i was like oh my god what i'm gonna do um with this package it's gonna be two uh scratch offs it'll be um i think three maybe three color challenge color and saves and the rest will be dice games for the most part i'm also going to this is gonna be one of my first like big packages like this that, that i'm gonna offer as a digital download as well guys i'm gonna show you how to actually play this as a digital download as well if need be well no this game doesn't have a spinner but uh I, i'm gonna show you in one of my next videos with the games that require spinners how to do those when it needs a spinner but like i said this is part one of my carnival uh pack there's going to be a second one as well, guys. So this is the first one released, but it's going to be a second one because there's so many games, so many things you can do at a carnival, guys. So many different games. And like I said, we're all about variety on this channel. We don't want to get bored, guys. So like I said, this is an experience, guys. An experience. <laughs> so I'm really, really excited about it, guys. So Carnival Fun Fair Low Income Savings Challenges, guys. That, that's what we're on today. I'm going to go ahead and get my cutter ready because this is our last laminating page here. And look, guys, we're at eight minutes already. We laminated six pages of things. So that's why I said the lamination takes quite a while, guys, for your orders. Just so you know. All right. So we got all of our pages laminated, guys. So we are going to get ready to do our cutting. Let me get that in there. All right. Let me move over so you can kind of like see. But like I said, guys, you want to line your border up with this line that's in here, okay? When you're cutting your challenges out, you want to get rid of as much white border as you can. But you don't want to cut your borders up completely, okay? See? Min minimal whiteness at the bottom of that, guys. Minimal. Okay? Like I said, these are just the insert, inserts that go into the envelope that you already have, guys. I won't be making actual envelopes because I'm terrible at making cash envelopes, guys. If you didn't know, that's why I don't make them because I'm terrible, okay? And they take too long. I don't want to do that. I'm going to let the girls that, know, that like to make cash envelopes make cash envelopes. I will not be doing that for Etsy. I'll do it for myself, or maybe, eventually, but uh, I like, I'd like rather buy them, to be honest. It's too much of a, of a headache for me, guys, okay? But like I said, if you like to make cash envelopes, like these have come laminated already, guys. 
and you do what you will, okay? You can make it, turn it, just relaminate it and make it into the cash envelope that you want it to be, guys. But I'm not going to do it, okay? Let's see. Nice, clean lines, guys. But yeah, guys, so like I said, this is going to be, like a, I'm doing, this is 10 challenges here. And then my second set is going to be another uh, 10 challenges. I'm actually thinking, this only is going to come in A5, guys. There will be no A6 of this challenge because it's too difficult to make. So A5 only. And it's going to, and full size will be coming soon. And speaking of full size, the full size challenge, when I release the second one, these will be a book. So this will be my first savings challenge book, guys, when I finish the rest of these challenges. But I did want to give um, you guys the option to purchase these here. But I am making an entire carnival book with with about, about uh, 20 to 24 challenges in them. But like I said right now, this is just going to be the first part of it, okay? But like I said, I want to show you, give you a sample of what I'm working on, guys, <laughs> of the games. And, you know, I got to I gotta release something each week and stuff. And like I said, this is it. Then I'll release the other 10 challenges. But like I said, they're going to be in a complete 8 by 5 by 11 book. My first saving challenge book, guys. So that is my plan to do it. And like I said, for digital download, um, when I do get ready to sell these 10 packages of the 10 challenges, you'll only be able to buy the package, guys. I will not be selling these separately. On the digital download side, you'll be able to buy the full package at a discounted rate. But I will be selling the challenges individually as well. So if you don't want the whole package, you can buy them individually, but only as a digital download. Not a physical copy, guys. So if you only want a couple of these challenges, snag them up, get your digital download, and print it out, guys. Okay? But like I say, you probably don't want all these games. I'm excited about this. <laughs> these games. You can go buy you a binder, get you some envelopes, whatever you want to do, and make your whole game book. Like I said, I'm going to use these. I'm going to make a new game day just to play these, y'all. A carnival um, day. <laughs> I'm going to go to the carnival every week with these challenges, guys. That is my plan. It really is. Love the carnival when I do get to go, guys. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right we're almost done cutting these out, guys. Like I said, guys, with these, I had the directions on all of these at the bottom of these red boxes. So the instructions are there. So you know exactly what to do. And how to play the games. And some of the instructions, I even have them a way to play them on even lower income. Like when you don't have a lot of money, guys, you can play them the even odd way. I got those instructions on there as well. Like I said, I want you guys playing your games, no matter how much money you have. If you don't play these for fun, just play the games, guys. Just play them. You don't have to have money. Get some prop money. Play them with prop money. <laughs> I mean, they're yours, guys. Enjoy them. They're yours. They're games, after all. Like, do you have money to play board games that's in the closet? No. But, you know, you play them, right? Every once in a while, you know? Like I said, guys, I want you to, you know, play these games, practice playing these games, you know, when you don't have money, practice them so, you, so you're an expert when it's time to, you know, film your videos when you're doing, playing these games or <laughs> when you're ready to, you know, really do what you do. Just practice a couple times. You'll be expert at playing these games and explaining them to other people. <laughs> Yeah, guys, but like I said, I, I designed these games so, so that they're fun, guys. That's that's the intent, to be fun. And, you know, and save a little bit of money along the way. And like I said, it's an experience. You sa you can save up for the actual experience, you know, guys. Like I said, save up for the fair next year or something like that. Or it's for the, like the, uh, what is it, like amusement parks, like Six Flags or something, you know. 
that's what we have here. I don't know what you guys have and um, where you're from. But, you know, save up for those type of uh, situations. It's similar somewhat. But, yeah, guys, y'all got really addicted to making these challenges. That's how I made the first one. I couldn't stop, y'all. I did this all day today. <laughs> so, this is 10 challenges in one day. I made all these up today. And like I said, there are more, it's more where these came from, guys. <laughs> yeah, I just had so much. So many things I can think about, you know? One thing after another coming up, you know? Like, oh, that'd be good for this, you know? How can I make this this uh, carnival game into like a savings challenge game? You know, that's what I was thinking the entire time I was creating a lot of these. Like, how can I make this about money ish, savings challenge ish? And I think I succeeded, guys. I think you're gonna be um, thrilled with these games, actually. So, let me get rid of my trash. I've got a trash bag handy on the other side, guys. So that's good. So we are done with this. All right, we're gonna get our uh, corner rounder. We're gonna round our corner on our challenges right now, guys. Haven't really decided on the order of these games yet, guys, but I guess I'm going to uh, mix up the foods and the, you know, actual games and things like that. Like, once I get the actual 24 in here, I don't know if I want to, like, divide it by section, like, you know, carnival games, uh, food court, court uh, attractions, like the uh, rides <laughs> or whatnot. Maybe I will, but I don't know yet, guys, but that's a good idea to do that. But my thing is I wanted to kind of like, um, like when I do get the other challenges that's going to go with this set, I do want to, hold on guys, I need to grab a couple stickers. Let's see, scratch offs. One second. What'd I do with them guys? Here they are. <clears throat> I'm going to move everything off my desk guys to make room for this video. Including my scratch off stickers. But here they are, guys. Okay, scratch off stickers. So, like I said, this um, right now is two scratch offs included in this game. So, let me grab those in this package. See this one. I'm going to kind of like cover them up over off the sides of the hot dog one. And then the Ferris wheel one will have scratch off stickers. I'm going to cover these up really quickly because I don't want you guys to see the actual. Um, once it's on there, I know I've showed you before, but I might not make another copy of this, guys. <laughs> I might leave it as is. Well, no, I can change the numbers, guys. I'm going to show you the whole process of what I'm doing. I might, yeah, I'm going to change the numbers, guys. That's what I'll do. And like I said, did I know that this this is gonna these stickers were gonna be perfect on here? Uh, not necessarily, guys. That they will fit. Um, I did put use my method of uh, putting a one inch holograph um, circle on my um, Canva design, like I like I taught you guys in my Canva tutorial. And look look at that. Look at look at my Ferris wheel. It's coming alive, yeah. It's looking all right to me. Okay. It might overlap a little bit, but that's okay. It's giving me it's giving me what I want the look that I'm going for guys just scratch off a little bit okay but it's serving you see that it's serving look at that beautiful okay and then like I said these are the hot dogs here 
And we're just gonna cover these up, guys. So some of the hot dogs have mustard and the other ones have ketchup on them. And so the goal is um, you would assign a value for um, the ketchup hot dogs that you're gonna scratch off and the, um, the mustard before you start scratching, guys. So maybe like, you know, maybe $2 for the ketchup hot dogs and $3 for the mustard hot dogs. You save that amount or however you wanna do or $5 for ketchup, $10 for mustard. It's up to you. You set the amount on these guys, okay? Because like I said, all our all um, budgets are different, guys. So if you want twenty dollar hot dogs, ten for ketchup, twenty for mustard. What you like, mustard? I like I like both of those things on my hot dog, to be honest. But you know, some people are team ketchup, some are team mustard, guys. So like I said, I let people be them, okay? So yeah, guys, I'm excited because this is mine. This is my new um, items for our new binder. And like I said, this probably will be a, a game night on its own, baby. Let's <laughs> I want to play these. Well, I want to play all my challenges, but I'm, I'm playing these somehow, some way, y'all. Okay? Baby. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. I, I like I said, those messages on Etsy. They I'm trying to make me uh, create some more stuff for kids. Like, let me move this one because it's kind of sh covering, showing a little bit of the hot dog. Even though it's not showing a mustard, but I still want it to be right, even though it's mine. All right? Because I care, y'all. I tell y'all I be caring about stuff. So if I probably shouldn't even care about, I care. Quality. Beautiful challenges, guys. Innovative. That is what saving with Shalanda is all about. Giving you what you ain't seen before. That's what I do. Over here. Alright. Alright, so our challenges are ready to go into a bar now. I'm gonna kind of like, let me look at them, see what I want. And this is the beginning. We gotta start with the balloon. Let's see. Kind of want to mix them up, guys. We can do a teacup. Let's put some food in here somewhere. Uh, yeah, we'll put food there. Uh, we can do the game board. Let's see. We can do a scratch off. So one in the middle. We can do another game. We can do merry go round, uh, more popcorn, a game, and pop popcorn and hot dogs like that. We don't like that. All right, so this is our bundle, guys, right now. So <laughs> let's just see the bundle. So we have the uh, cover page here. We have the balloon pop game. Uh, what's the tea, which is the teacup ride, guys, that you're going to use with playing cards to play this. This is going to be Cotton Candy Dreams, which is the color and save, guys, the even and odd challenge. You're going to roll two dice, and then if it's even, you're going to uh, save $2 and color in one of the cotton candies right here. Or if it's odd, you're going to color in um, one, one of these and save $1, guys. Uh, this is the um, the carnival board game. So you're just gonna roll your dice and whenever you land on, um, the, you can save these amounts for a lower income way. You can just undo even or eye, land on even or eye guys and pay it that way. If you land on one of these obstacles, like these, I guess, candies, they are like this chair set here, you'll just pay $5 guys, like that. Okay, this is a scratch off here guys and a color and save with a bonus. So basically you'll just, uh, just pick one of these to scratch guys, save that amount. And then this is the bonus color and save. You can assign an amount to these for each ticket, fair, Ferris wheel ticket, or you could just like say maybe like $2 each ticket or whatnot. Whatever you want to do, guys. Ball toss game, guys. For here, you're going, it's 777. Seven, seven, so there are seven balls here. So I just decided that the number you need, so you get three rolls for each one of these bins. So you're going to try to roll seven three times for each, for each one, each game. And so if you roll a seven, you'll put how many times you roll seven into the bin with a dry erase marker. So if you roll it one time within those three turns, you put it here. If you roll it two times within them three turns, roll it here. 
same thing down the line and you'll just save a dollar for each time that you actually get a seven if you get no sevens you're just gonna pay two dollars okay for playing the game okay so suit go around here this is a merry-go-round uh, carousel type game here so what you would do here is guys you would um pull a card draw a card whatever suit is in uh, you'll pick that'll be a merry-go-round set you will pick carousel set and then you will roll one dice and then depending on what it lands on that's the horse that you color okay so if you land on a six you'll color horse number six and then whatever you want to cover all these to be if you want to but you can make you can make it like a, another game like what what suit is going to finish first finish the race first i'll color in all their horses first you can do it that way too guys okay however you want to do it it's up to you you know color and say laminate or reusable okay clowning around guys so there are now nine, nine clowns here and we're going to play this game just like uh shut the box so we're going to uh, knock out the clowns, guys. So like I said, with a dry erase marker, you roll your two dice, roll a nine, knock that clown out with the nine or the five and the four clown, knock both of those out. Whatever clowns are remaining, you'll save that amount, just the, how many, whatever clown, not like the dollar amount. So if it's like two clowns left, say two clowns, say two dollars, okay? Not like the three dollars you would normally say with shut the box, just like the, a low income way. So however many clowns you got left, okay? Okay, so let's get popping. Color and save, guys. So, like I said, you would just uh, roll and save. You would roll the dice and save that amount. Write that amount in the popcorn kernel. You can color the kernels um, yellow. You can color them too to make make it like they have butter on them and things. And if that's too much, you can do it uh, the even and odd way as well, guys. So put ones and twos in there, whatever you roll. Okay. It's up to you and then hot dog hot dog hot diggity dog um you're gonna assign a value for the ketchup and the mustard hot dog and then you're gonna scratch like i said you know how we roll here roll three or four dice to get your scratch off and that's what you're gonna get so if you reveal a hot dog with ketchup you say say x say five dollars if it's with mustard say ten, save ten dollars however you want to do it guys it's up to you and what amount you want to play all right so that's it. So that's going to be my set, guys. And we're going to set this up in an actual binder so you can see what it looks like in an A5 binder. So I borrowed this binder, guys. This belongs to uh, my other games, but I need to uh, order a new binder for just for these games. So that's what I'm going to do. But I did want to set it up so you can see what it looks like in a binder, guys. All right. So that's our cover. I said I will not be selling binders because <laughs> it's too much work. Nope. <laughs> All right. So like I said, the challenges fit perfectly in here, guys. They look good. Looking good. Now, guys, if you see stuff on these envelopes, it's just stuff from the scratch offs and things like that. They really um, adhere to these um, transparent envelopes and things. I need to clean them. So if you see anything, it's from the metallic from those, like that. All right, did I have enough? Okay, we're down to our last two guys. I think I'm out of envelopes. So we'll make these uh, backwards, okay? Because that's the plan anyway. There'll be uh, 24 challenges in here eventually, and then they'll share envelopes, guys. Okay, so like that. <clears throat> so let's get a better view of our binder guys let's take a look at it see how beautiful it is okay so here we go let's do the flip through let me try to all right so it's time to go to the carnival guys okay oops so that's the first page title page the bloom pop all right what's the t Cotton Candy Dreams, guys. The Carnival um, board game is here. All right. Ferris Wheel Fun, guys. All right. 777 seven, seven Ball Toss game. All right. Suit Go Around. All right. Clowning Around. All right. 
like shut the box and then we got let's get popping here guys and then we have our uh turn around hot diggity dog scratch off here all right so that is our carnival um experience the ultimate carnival experience um, binder <laughs> gotta use ultimate guys ultimate okay makes it sound better but like i said this is ultimate guys okay this is gonna be awesome i can't wait to play this so here we go guys this is what it's looking like so far i haven't decided if i'm gonna do a jelly binder for mine i'm thinking about getting the red binder i like my pink one that i have because i like that it's the hard um surface more than so than a jelly binder you know i might get a uh red one like the like my pink one but yeah guys that is the carnival low income savings challenge um binder so like i said i'll just, i'll just be selling the inserts guys that's it but you can build your own binder guys okay so i am done with this video please um check out my SE launch for the for this video to uh, see the games played in detail okay guys all right i'm done bye